High Plains Technology says it's time for school. Well, would you look at the time? It is time for school. Of course, we're talking about High Plains Technology and Katie Shirley back in the studio again this morning. Good morning, Brett. Good morning. And good morning to everyone listening. Um, Today I have with me our practical nursing director, Mickey McDonald. How are you, Mickey? Good morning. Great. How are you? Good. Um, So, Mickey, tell us a little bit about you and your position, and then we'll start um, just talking about the practical nursing program. Okay, well, let's see. I've been out at Career Tech for, um, this will be my 17th year. I had been a faculty member for 14 of those years, and then um, I have the honor of being the um, director, so this will be my fourth class. Um, So it's very exciting. It is an ever-changing job, and um, I'm really glad to be in this community that serves us and allows us to go a lot of clinical sites. Awesome. So 17 years, that's pretty awesome. You've got to see a lot of um, nurses come through and now been in many of them been in the workforce for many years. And so before you came to High Plains, you actually were were you working in a hospital or where was your um, nursing career at? It was a little interesting. I um, went to I call it MIT, which is really Murray and Tisch. So I went to uh, Murray State College in Tishomingo. And got my ADM, which is a two-year degree. But during that time, I was allowed to, and we can do this kind of, it's interesting with LPN, but I tested out and actually tested for my LPN. So that's kind of interesting. So I worked in a little bit as an LPN. I mean, a brief time. And then I um, moved here to Woodward. So then I worked in a med surge. And then when I came to Woodward, I've been, I was in OR about nine years and uh, maybe five of that, four or five of that, I was a assistant manager is what I was in OR here. And that was some really good training. And then um, I went ahead and came out here at Career Tech, applied and good Lord, they hired me. It was wonderful. And so that's made my experience as med surge and the um, OR awesome. was what I did. Yeah. And okay. then when I came out here at Career Tech, you needed to have a bachelor's degree. So I went and got my bachelor's at OU. And now since I took over director, I'm actually, I'm a life I'm a learner. Student. Yes. <laughs> learner. And um, I'm in my master's now, and I should graduate, praise the Lord, um, in April is, so is you my can, dream. You can kind of relate to your students who yes. are living this life of moms and and just parents. We have men, too, in the program um, quite often um, wearing many hats and studying in the evenings. And yeah, it, it is a, um intense course. But the beauty of it is we have narrowed it down to 10 months because we have uh, prerequisites or advanced standing is what we like to call them. And that would be your medical terminology and your long-term nurse aid. And you can do that. Um, Hot Plains offers every one of those courses. So you can take that um, here. And then um, so that narrowed it down to a 10-month program. We go Monday through Friday, 8 to 4.30. And that really gives them time to work on the weekends. A lot of these guys work 40 hours. Wow. Single moms, um, dads even. Um, shout out to the men. We need men in nursing very badly. Um, so it would be awesome for you to come and, and come to our program. Um, so, yeah, so they have a lot of opportunity. Most of these guys are working, yes, literally 40 hours. Wow. And then Amen. doing class and then studying. Um, it is very impressive, the dedication that they have. Um, so when will the next program um, roughly begins? Well, we normally take applications around mid-January, and we'll push that out through social media and um, get that out there. So, But we don't really start interviewing till around April. April. Okay, uh-huh. so applications will open sometime in January, so um, watch our social media for that. And then... Um, then there'll be interviews in April, and then class usually begins, is that in August? Yes. Around the... We're usually about the first week of August. Okay. And the reason we go ahead and do applications so early, because it gives them plenty of time to do the medical terminology right. and the prerequisites, the long-term nurse aid. So you have okay. ample time to get all that completed. And also, one of it, um, we have actually two pre-admission um, exams, and it's the ACT Okay. and um, something called Accuplacer. And actually do both of those at Career Tech if you choose to do that. Okay. So these prerequisite classes you're talking about, um, do we offer those through our short-term programs that they join and um, try to catch one of those classes of med- medical terminology? Or we, how do they take Actually, the long-term those? nurse aid, you would um, talk to Tammy Kellen, and she is a short-term class. 
and through the biz. And but medical terminology, really, you can do that online. Okay, but we have so a we just, link, and I believe yes, it's okay. Educan. We have a link through there, and that you can um, climb on Hot Plains website. Click on that, and it tells you exactly how to do it, how much it costs. And, and I'm sorry I don't have that okay. exact amounts because it could change each year. So they definitely want to be checking the short-term listing for that long-term CNA class. Mm-hmm. Because and we offer them often. Yes. And they, I think we usually have them in the evenings, and then we mm-hmm. also have uh, daytime week-long Correct. classes periodically. Mm-hmm. So if And the you're cool thing about, about that, it, sorry, is uh, sometimes the long-term nurse aid um, teachers are our old LPN students. Awesome. Yeah, so... Um, that's kind of cool to keep it. And that is neat. That and, is. and speaking of past students, our, tell us about um, briefly about our two new practical nursing instructors that are in yes, your faculty. Yes, we um, hired two new faculty members, um, and we had many apply, so it was a very difficult process to pick them. But the two we did pick, ironically, um, at the time I didn't really realize that, but they were former um Students, which I knew that, but what I didn't recall, they were in the same class. Oh, at the same year. Yeah. So I thought that was interesting. So we're looking, Kali, about ten plus years back. Mm-hmm. So it had been a while. My memory's not that great. But yeah, they um, they worked as LPNs for a long standing time, and then just as all of us do, we chose to take that career path, and they went and got their RN. Um, Chandra Flynn is uh, bachelor's prepared, and then. Um, Nikki Foster, she will be achieving her bachelor's very quickly. Awesome. So they're actually working. Or Nikki also is um, working on that, too. Working student. through school, just as I am. So we get it. We feel, we, we understand the difficulty of balancing family. Um, it can be done. Yeah. I done. love seeing that. That's neat when we have former students who are now on, on staff at High Plains. Mm-hmm. And um, so tell us a little bit more about the program. Anything else you want to share about nursing or just kind of what you think they'd be interested in knowing? Yes, I think um, me as a parent, I have four girls, and I think people need to go when they go to school to know you can actually get a job. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's so important. We, ha- we actually have bachelor's degrees in our program before because they get these degrees and they can't use them. Right. So nursing, you will always, if you want to work, you will get a job. You will maintain a job. You, and, and the beauty of nursing also is 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 the variety that you can do. Like I'm in education, but they have OR, I'll bore you here, med surge, long-term nurse aid. You could be a hospice, home health. Um, I mm-hmm. could keep going. Um, now on clinicals, mm-hmm. is clinicals where they're able to get an idea of which part of nursing they're going to like better? Do they go into different, all the like, you know, pediatric mm-hmm. or... How does clinicals work? Yes, so Northwest Oklahoma, kudos. We have the best clinical sites ever. So that's exactly what we do. We are um, we have theory, which is you know instructional class. Well, then you also have clinical, and the clinical is almost half theory, half clinical, which is that's a lot. So what we get to do is um, we have a lot of community people that serve us, such as we go to Buffalo and Sealing and Woodward and Newman. Newman, excuse me, and ceiling. And in those areas, we will go to all, I call them satellite um, areas, so we can experience everything. Alliance Health, we have OB and OR, and I mean, it just goes on and on. So that's the beauty of it, is you get to go, you get to experience, you get to be with the other nurses, and then you can kind of kind of feel out what you want, Mm -hmm. you know, when you get there, you can, I know I have a real feel for pediatrics. We've had that before. Like we're going to pediatrics and that's just the way it is. Yeah. They get there and they're like, I don't even want to go. I'm just, let's pick on OR because that's what I worked. Um, I don't even want to go to OR really. They go to OR and guess what? They're OR nurses. Yeah. It is crazy. And just even the spans that you have, like if you get, that's what I said. If you go into nursing you get a job, let's say it's medical surgical, and you don't like it, go somewhere else. Yeah. There's no reason to ever be tied down and bored or unhappy. Move on. Go to a different career. It is amazing. So yeah. you can have all those, like, I don't even know, maybe pick on accounting. Once you're accounting, you're accounting. Yeah. You know, in nursing, you can be about anything. And yeah. then we also have some um, contracts with, um, like, Northwestern mm-hmm. and variety of other um colleges that they can get hours so sometimes you can skip like even the first year because you have hours if you go and challenge the NCLEX which is how you become an actual nurse right all the NCLEX is an exam Um, and then you can get all those just kind of washed away Wow. And you move right into RN. You could become an RN within a year, an associate RN. That's awesome. Yeah, it is. It's an exciting career. 
And right now, the nursing shortage is huge, as everybody knows, right. um, with COVID. Um, we were had a nursing shortage before COVID hit us. Um, and now that it's here, I'm telling you that um, I read a very sad statistic because I'm not on 50 right now. But most it said 55 percent of the nurses are uh, 50 and above and they'll retire 2032. We're looking at a huge nursing shortage. More wow. Than we already have. Wow. All right. So if you are interested in applying and stepping in to fill that gap that is so needed to be a practical, uh, to be an LPN, um, just check out our website or follow us on social media. As always, that's where we share a ton of um, upcoming news and um, pay attention for that January date of when applications open or just call um, out at High Plains and ask for Mickey McDonald and um, she can help answer any questions. Um, the phone number is 580-256-6618. All right. We hope everyone has a, th- a great day. And thank you, Mickey. Thank you so much.